This is the coolest, the sharpest, the most expensive, and the most dangerous knife we've ever sent out. And I'm not exaggerating. My name is Austin. On behalf of Crate Club, I present to you supply drop number 22. As always, there are four ways to join our tactical community. There is the lieutenant, the captain, the major, and the general. There are three month-to-month -month options. Those are the lieutenant, the captain, and the major. And then every once in a while, specifically once per quarter or four times per year, we release the general. That's this one right here. It's our top tier, it's our biggest option, and it's where we cram the most value into our boxes for our customers. We care about our subscribers. We care about the products that go in here. At the end of the day, our goal is to make you the most tactical, competent, and capable human being that you can possibly be. We have a whole community that thinks alike, we share ideas, we share knowledge. Iron sharpens iron, and that very much represents the soul of this community. So I'm excited to show you what's in this box. I say this every quarter, but seriously, this is our coolest general box yet. The amount of stuff that we crammed into this box is actually kind of insane. Let's get after it. As always, we provide you with this booklet that's gonna walk you through what exactly has showed up at your doorstep. I personally wrote all of these, and so it gives you a thorough description of what exactly is inside of your box. First up is a very, very unexpected item that the team here at Crate Club was super back and forth on, uh, but we really decided to put it in here because it provi provides value. First up, I wanna introduce to you Nose Slap. Nose Slap is an aromatic product that uses peppermint vapors to deliver an intense, refreshing blast of fragrance that instantly puts you in the mood to be active and engaged in whatever life throws your way. Ammonia, a key ingredient in Nose Slap, has been used by both medical professionals and competitive sports athletes for years. Just one sniff of the pungent peppermint scent contained in these small, easy to carry vials is powerful enough to slap anyone out of a bad mood and get them back to work. All right, look, ammonia. I think everybody's familiar with that chemical. It's used in all sorts of manufacturing processes. It's in chemical cleaners. It's in all sorts of stuff, right? You remember like back in the day or even in like the old school cartoons, if someone passes out, they like the buddy picks them up and it's like slapping the shit out of them trying to like bring them back to consciousness. That's a bad idea. You don't want to cause more physical harm to your buddy who is now unconscious than necessary. Also, you might see like a cold bucket of water being thrown on them. It's supposed to kind of like shock them and wake them back up. Uh, that's also a bad idea because you could actually put them into a state of shock, which is an even potentially worse condition than just being unconscious. So that's a bad idea. Don't do that either. If you've ever seen ammonia tabs, they're these little paper breakable tablets. They're for one single use. You can break them. A lot of medical professionals carry them. I saw them a lot in the army. Hover them underneath the nose and the intense aroma from that ammonia tab is strong enough to bring someone out of an unconscious state and wake them back up. Pretty incredible. So what we provided you with is kind of a, a more mild version of that medical product. I actually came across multiple ammonia products as a competitive power lifter. So some athletes, specifically those in the strength community, so power lifters and strongman competitors, you'll see them huffing ammonia before big events. What they're trying to do is essentially simulate a fight or flight response from the power of the aroma and then go lift. So it hurts. You're gonna sniff it and it hurts and you're like, what the f was that? And if you can control that energy, you can actually direct it towards an athletic performance and improve your lift for just that one second. This is a much softer, more palatable version of those like medically prescribed ones. So inside your box, you're gonna see a little card that gives you a description on how to prepare this product. It says something about twist, tap, let it rest, whatever, right? These things require a little bit of preparation before you use it for the first time. Be sure to follow the directions, let it sit, let those vapors form before sniffing from the tube directly. This one I've already prepped, it's been sitting in the tube for a while now, and I'm gonna hit it for you on camera. As you can see, this is like what an unopened one looks like, and this is what an opened one looks like. You can see that the, I've taken the plastic off of this. So you can twist this thing down, you tap it, and then you let it sit upright for a period of time while those vapors settle, right? So say you're uh, driving late at night and you feel yourself dozing off, and that is a dangerous situation. You don't wanna be dozing off while driving. You don't have time to stop. You don't have access to caffeine. You don't have access to nicotine. You're in a convoy, whatever the situation is right and you need to wake up if you keep this in your pocket and hit it when necessary it's gonna wake you up let's do it <laughs> I actually knew it was coming and it was so much worse than I thought it was gonna be. 
Uh, but at least it's peppermint scented though. Oh, yeah. I've got, I got tears coming out of my eyes. Holy smokes, that went right up the right nostril. But it works, it freaking works, and I love that. The Wake Up Stick Alternative Energy. Dude, try it, give it a chance. I know this is not something that anybody expected, but we send these things out with intent. This could save your life. If you're falling asleep at the wrong time and you need something to wake you up, here you go. Up next, I wanna show you the EDC27 from Nightcore. The Nightcore EDC27 is a high performance EDC flashlight that boasts an ultra slim design. Equipped with dual luminous SST40 LEDs, this device can emit a maximum of 3,000 lumens, making it an ideal choice for scouting or searching activities. The TIR, also known as Total Internal Reflection, style lens ensures a wide flood beam that can reach a maximum beam throw of 240 yards. Despite its compact size, the EDC27 is 44% thinner than most standard flashlights. Made of durable stainless steel and coated with titanium colored PVD, the EDC27 is not only strong, but also IP54 rated for water resistance and impact resistance. Every time we send out a flashlight, I'm like, that's it. That's, that's the coolest that flashlights could possibly get. Then Nightcore comes along and they're like, nope. This is the coolest EDC flashlight that you can possibly own. So unlike other flashlights that are round, they don't typically fit in your pocket as comfortably as this would, uh, Nightcore ended up going with this rectangular design, which I'm a big fan of. This fits in your pocket or a pouch much more comfortably than other products would. It also has this super overbuilt, super deep clip that can be used to uh, hold the thing securely in your pocket, right? So this thing has actually got some weight to it. It's got some uh, tactile grip on the side. I love this product. It has a screen on it, which you don't see flashlights with screens on them very much. And the purpose of the screen is to show you how much time you can use this flashlight based off the different lightness settings. So you've got five, well, six different settings. You have level one, two, three, and four. You have the ultra bright setting, which is 3000 lumens. And then you have the strobing effect. There's only two buttons on this entire flashlight. You'll also notice that this has a function called half lockout mode and full lockout mode. If on the screen you see a padlock with the number one, you are in half lockout mode. While in half lockout mode, you can access the 3000 lumen setting and the strobing effect setting immediately. If you're in full lockout mode, you can't access those whatsoever. So right now I'm in half lockout mode. If I press and hold the mode button on top, straight to the strobing effect. If I half press the mode button on top, straight to 3000 lumens. That thing is incredibly bright. My DSLR can't even keep up with it. Ah, it's so bright. So I'm in half lockout mode. You could actually see on the screen there, the little one, the padlock with the one on it. So if you double tap and hold the power button, press and hold, until a key appears, you are now unlocked, and I'm currently sitting at level three, which is the last setting I left it on. And at level three, I can actually continue to use this for three hours and 28 minutes, if you can see that on the screen. If I wanna go from level three to level four, simply press uh, the power button again. At level four, I can do this for an hour and six minutes, and if you press again, it's gonna cycle back to the start at level one, which is just 15 lumens, not a whole lot going on here. This thing hasn't even been charged since I pulled it out of the box. At level one, I can do this for 33 minutes. 33 hours, I misspoke, that's 33 hours and five minutes I could hang on to 15 lumens. If we go from level one to level two, simply by pressing the power button on top, it goes from 15 lumens to 65, and at level two, I can do this for 11 hours and 55 minutes. Pretty crazy, so this thing has incredible strength, incredible battery power, and it'll last uh, for literal, literal days if this becomes your go-to flashlight uh, on a multi-day mission or multi-day camping trip. Super cool, great flashlight. Be careful with the 3000 lumens. This little logo on the bottom is there for a reason. It gets very, very, very hot. Up next is a product called the Pack Stack. Winner of Outdoor Magazine's Gear Guide Editor's Choice Award in 2022, the Pack Stack is a weatherproof organization and distribution tool designed to be used in conjunction with any standard 40 liter backpack. With its crescent shaped design, Pack Stack was created to eliminate dead space within a backpack more efficiently than a standard packing cube. Featuring 100% Cordura ripstop nylon and a YKK zipper, the Pack Stack was designed to be used on any expedition in any environment. Furthermore, multiple 
pack stacks can be stacked within a single backpack, allowing the user to organize their belongings however they choose. Remember, this is what it's gonna look like when it's coming out of your box. It doesn't really look like much in this configuration, but what you gotta do is unfold it like so. So this is what the thing looks like. Like we said, Cordura Rip Stop technology, super light, super durable, weatherproof, and if you do get a hole in it, that hole's not gonna run like other fabrics. Uh, if you have this Rip Stop technology, it's just gonna stay localized and wherever that damage occurred. Like we said, crescent shaped. That means it's gonna fit super well in any backpack. For example, I got this here backpack, which I already have about, you know, two thirds, three fourths stuffed when camping. It's nice to have things organized, and not just for the sake of organization, but for the sake of quick access. It's nice to know where your medical supplies are located, and it's nice to know where your food's located, where dry socks are located, whatever it is, right? And whatever you want to access most quickly, you're probably gonna have on top of your bag. That being said, we all know that whatever you put up here, if it's not secured up here in some way, it's gonna find its way down to the bottom of the backpack. In comes pack stack. So I'm gonna shove a few things in here just to kind of show you how much could fit in here. I have this hammock here. Are you gonna use your pack stack for a hammock? I mean, you could, not gonna judge you. I've got some beef jerky sticks, a fire starter kit. Put that in the back as well. And I even have an IFAC or a small medical kit. Close this bad boy up. YKK zipper, it's gonna do its thing. Oh yeah, with room to spare. So then you take your pack stack and just stick it right in your backpack. Bada bing, bada boom, and you're done. Look how nicely that fits inside there. So the pack stack is on top. If you had multiple, you could stack them all the way down through the backpack, which I think is a great idea. Again, just for the sake of organization. Whenever you wanna access whatever's inside your pack stack, flip the top off your backpack, use the handle that is on the pack stack and pull it right out. I love that, it's so easy. Handle's a great function. Orange tassel on the zipper, great idea. It's a great product, organization matters. And do think about the things, think about what you're bringing with you to the field or a campsite, whatever it may be, why you're bringing it and where it should be because that kind of stuff matters. Whether it's for convenience or a life-saving moment, it matters where you put your things and why. I do encourage you to fill this thing intelligently and store stuff in here that matters so that it's accessible to you when you need it most. Up next, I'm gonna show you a stretchy little product from Modal called the Infinity Tool. Meet the Infinity Tool, the wearable adaptable companion for all of life's adventures. With a platinum silicone super loop and 304 stainless steel stud links, this utility bracelet doubles as a versatile gear strap that is designed to allow you to do more with what's at hand. From a simple grocery store run to even the most extreme adventures, the Infinity Tool can be used in an unlimited number of situations. So I'm actually wearing one right now. I didn't say anything early in the video just because I wanted to keep it subtle, um, you know, just because it can be worn as a bracelet doesn't mean it has to be worn as a bracelet, but I do like when useful products, tools, can be hidden in plain sight. First glance, maybe this is just a, a green bracelet, but the number of things I can do with this bracelet is limited only by your imagination. We provided you with a total of four straps, two short and two long, and they can be combined in a quite literal infinite number of ways. Each strap uh, can hold up to 70 pounds. You'll notice when they come out of the box, they're gonna be a little bit stiff, but they will break in over time and become slightly more elastic. So I'm gonna give one example here of how this stuff can be used. But what I'm gonna do is combine one short and one long. These things clasp together super easily with the little metal tips here. Take the end of one onto the other. So easy, super cool. So now I've got two extra long straps here. I'm gonna get my backpack back. From here, I'm gonna take these straps. And at first glance, you probably don't think that this is gonna reach all the way around but it definitely will because it's so stretchy. Now the cool thing is, is that these metal clasps can be used like a friction adapter. Simply thread your infinity tool through that little spot and then you can cinch it down however you like. I'm gonna grab my other one and do the same thing. Thread it through, cinch it down, tighten it however you like. 
So this is just one like super simple example. A lot of people have sleeping bags or sleeping mats that they roll up and then they stick on the side of their backpack. You could use the infinity tool to thread that sleeping bag through the side here and it would sit upright perfectly fine. You could actually do the same thing with a rifle. I know a lot of long distance competitors who do those multi-day um, challenges uh, have their rifles uh, on the sides of their packs. You could also use this to keep your rifle in place. Like many of the products we send out through Crate Club, um, a lot of them are limited literally by your own imagination. Um, so we're super excited to see what you guys come up with this thing for. Wear it as a bracelet, use it as a tool, use it as a friction adapter. Um, the options are limitless. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope you put it to use. The ExoTac Free Key. This award-winning key ring saves fingernails and simplifies the daily task of carrying keys. Designed in Sweden and manufactured in the USA from high-grade stainless steel Free Key, slim system rings eliminate the always challenging operation of a traditional key ring by opening with the simple press of a ring. Simply squeeze to open and proceed to use like a normal key ring. Without a doubt, it's the last key ring you'll ever need. I have a feeling some of you opened this up and they were like, come on now, you sent us a a key ring? This is the last key ring you'll ever need. A lot of us have keys, right? A lot of us have multiple keys, and it's good to keep those things organized in a specific way in a specific location or on your body whenever you need. The old school key rings should have been improved upon a long time ago, but it wasn't until these guys came along, ExoTac, and they were like, look, we can make this better. You can see that everything is closed here, much like a normal key ring. Nothing's gonna come out of where these three loops are stacked together. But if you press on the little button, whenever you apply pressure, that key ring is gonna open up. Closed, open, closed, open. And then you can use the smaller rings to thread whatever you want onto those key rings. Look man, it's simple, but talk about EDC. Once you use this, it's the last key ring you're ever gonna need, it's gonna be an everyday carry, literally, truly. And it kind of ruins all the other key rings you might have in your house, because you're like, oh wow, this is objectively better, and I wish I had more of these. Up next is the ExoTac Titan Light. The Titan Light is the first rugged, waterproof, refillable lighter on the market that uses readily available liquid fuel. Featuring a watertight O-ring, this lighter isn't susceptible to water damage or fuel leaks. The O-ring seal also allows for longer intervals between lighter fluid refills. Furthermore, the high spark flint wheel will prove to be significantly more effective and more reliable than piezo-based lighters. As always, the ExoTac construction quality is unmatched and truly represents what ExoTac has become known for. Made in the USA from aircraft grade aluminum, the Titan Light is designed to provide reliable service for a lifetime. So here we go. This thing is super small and I like that. It's kind of uh, like chapstick shaped, but maybe 50% larger than a standard chapstick stick. Super light, made of aircraft aluminum. Got a little loop here on top for a lanyard if you wanted to carry it that way. They have rubber O-rings on the inside, so this entire thing could be submerged in water and your lighter is gonna be okay. You're gonna wanna fill this with standard lighter fluid, much like this. This is a Zippo product. You don't have to use Zippo, but again, made in the USA, and I love that. Once you fill it with a lighter fluid, you're gonna to want to let it sit upright for about 10 minutes so that lighter fluid seeps into the uh, wick itself and then you can proceed to use it. Pop the top, spin the wheel, beautiful lighter. Super nice, I love that flame. Reminds me very much of Zippo. Uh, when you wanna blow it out, it's easy as that. And here is the O-ring that they mentioned, and this is what's gonna keep the whole thing waterproof and protect the flint wheel that's on the inside. They also talk about having a single turn system, which I like, so you're not gonna be doing multiple spins. You hold this thing, whoa, it came off fast. So you hold it like this, twist it one time, comes all the way off. So easy, I love how technology improves, and it's not about more ones and zeros, it's about taking mechanically built devices and making them more simple for us to use every day. It's awesome. I've got more to show you, man. This general box just never ends. I've got not one, not two, but three more products to show you. Up next is the Fox 599 Folding Karambit. While the Karambit itself has been around for thousands of years and has earned a reputation as one of the most lethal handheld weapons known to man, Fox Knives has used modern technology to bring the Karambit into the 21st century. The Fox 599 G10 Black Folding Karambit offers a stunning balance of form and functionality. Built for hard use in the world's 
most hostile environments, this wicked little blade has been field tested and given the stamp of approval by some of the most elite users. Like all Fox knives, the Fox 599 Karambit is durable, reliable, and high quality. Suitable for service members, law enforcement officers, civilians, first responders, and utility workers, the 599 is a beast of a blade with some incredibly unique features, such as the patented Emerson Wave. The blade itself is two and a half inches long and then the whole thing opened up is seven and a half inches. This thing is wicked. All right, cool, check it out. Beautiful black on black box from Fox Knives. We love those guys. On the inside, your knife is gonna come in this nice little burlap sack, super cool feature. They also have um, some tools some screws and an extra pocket clip for you if you prefer to have it on the other side uh, versus if you're left-handed or right-handed. Fox Knives thinks about that stuff and then they provided you the necessary tools to make that switch if you want it. All right, let's focus on what matters here. That's this guy. Look, man, we've sent out some really cool knives. We've sent out some really expensive knives. But as long as I have been here with this organization, this is the coolest, the sharpest, the most expensive, and the most dangerous knife we've ever sent out. And I'm not exaggerating. So the Karambit, yes, this is a this is a fighting tool. It's a fighting weapon. Um, you can definitely make the case that certain EDCs, certain pocket knives are tools before they're weapons. They're tools that can be used as weapons. Uh, in the case of the Karambit, or Karambit, I'm sorry, tomato, tomato, however you wanna pronounce it, this thing was not really designed to be a tool, it was designed to be used as a weapon. In fact, there are multiple variations of these things. The one that we sent out only has one sharpened edge. There are illegal versions that have two sharpened edges. Of course, we did not provide you with an illegal product. This only has one sharpened edge, uh, but don't, don't take that too lightly. This thing is dangerous. As you can see, it literally looks like a talon. Like this looks like it came off of a, a falcon or a bald eagle or something, right? This thing is incredibly sharp and incredibly dangerous. So, beautiful G10 scales. I love the way this thing feels. We've got the loop on the end here. You could use that just to grab it in a quick situation. You can actually grip it with a finger threaded through the knife. What makes this thing so particularly interesting and dangerous is the Emerson Wave technology on the top of the blade. So this little design right here is called the Emerson Wave. Uh, if you've never come across it, essentially what this does is allow for rapid single hand deployment. So if you have this thing in your pocket, what you can do is pull on it and what's supposed to happen is that this Emerson Wave is supposed to catch the edge of your pants and deploy as you pull the weapon as you pull the tool from your pocket. So in a rapid scenario, you would pull on this part of it, the Emerson Wave catches your pants, and the whole thing comes out like that. Here's a quick demonstration, and while I was demonstrating, I almost cut a hole in my pants. In fact, I still think I cut a hole in my pants, I just haven't found it yet. There is a particular individual named Brandon Curran who works for a company called Battlebox that I'm a big fan of. The first time I ever hung out with Brandon was in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, while he was testing out the functionality of said Emerson Wave, he uh, not only cut his pants, but uh, cut about a three inch gap in his leg. Uh, it went straight through the skin, straight through the outer layer of fat. He doesn't have much fat down there, and it legitimately went all the way through uh, to the muscle of his quad. Uh, it was pretty dramatic. We kind of laughed it off after we realized he was okay, uh, but he completely ruined a pair of pants, and uh, he was not walking well for a few weeks. So yeah, that's the learning lesson. Don't mess around with this stuff. It's super cool, it's super lethal, but you can't, you can't be messing around with this stuff. Uh, but anyway, dude, this is the 599 from Fox Knives. I think it's the coolest thing that we've ever, ever sent out. I don't know if this is gonna become your EDC. Um, I don't know if it's gonna become a part of your collection. Uh, whatever you wanna do with it, I hope that you're proud of it. I hope that you enjoy it. I think this is one of the coolest things that we've ever sent out uh, through Crate Club, and I freaking love it. I'm gonna play around with it as an EDC, but I think more than likely it's just gonna become one of those look what I have type of folders. Cool stuff, moving on, man. Offering both 17 degree and 20 degree options. <laughs> 
the Work Sharp Guided Sharpening System is a complete bench top solution for every knife you own. This product was created with both novice and master sharpeners in mind and can truly be used on every knife in your arsenal. The innovative pivot response system follows the curve of the blade while sharpening, putting a sharp edge along the entire length of the blade. The required skills needed to use this product are built into the tool itself, making sharpening fun and easy to learn. Offering both a 17 degree and 20 degree options, the angle guided hone can be used separately and taken with you out into the field if desired. Designed to be used in conjunction with the WorkSharp Guided Sharpening System, this upgrade kit allows the user to repair damaged blades, sharpen a wider variety of tools, and create the ultimate cutting edge. So there are some things I feel like I can speak intelligently on when it comes to like health and fitness and strength training, a little bit of bodybuilding, distance running, most EDCs, uh, tactical approaches. Um, I'm pretty good with a weapon system. Those areas I feel like I can speak intelligently on, but I would admit that my knowledge has its limits. And for whatever reason, it's it's it stops when it comes to like knife ownership and blade maintenance. I've always carried a knife. Uh, when it gets dull, I normally you know use a very rudimentary blade sharpening system. This is by far the most complicated system that I have ever used. Although it is definitely intended for beginners to be able to use, it is a very, very thorough system that can address many types of blade services. So my plan here is not to demonstrate all of the potential capabilities of this product, but to save that for a later date. In fact, I want to walk you guys through all of the capabilities of this system in a separate long form content video. I'm not going to show you all the goodies today, but I'm telling you, this is the last knife sharpening system you're ever going to need. I'm very glad that we were able to include this entire system in our general box for this quarter. I also love that we were able to include the upgraded three pack as well, which includes additional surfaces, additional angles, and additional supplies that can help you hone an even wider variety of blades. So super cool. What a box. We crammed more in this general's box than I've ever seen before, and I'm so happy that everything came together the way that it did. What did you think? Did you like the products? Is there anything in here that you were particularly excited about? Um, I also want to ask you, who in your life do you think could use stuff like this? So the holidays are coming up. Um, I don't know if you know this, but you can absolutely gift a subscription from Crate Club to the person in your life that you think would enjoy this stuff. Do you love EDC? Do you love tactical stuff? Do you love the knowledge that comes along with being an overall more useful human being? And if so, Crate Club is probably right for you. Go check us out. There's four ways to join the community. The Lieutenant, the Captain, the Major, or the General. See you soon.